Welcome back to the Make or Break Shop. This week we're going to be working on this big modular tabletop organizer with lots of drawers as well as spots for paintbrushes and paints, especially if you're into miniatures. <laughs> So some upcoming projects that I want to do are going to involve doing small sculptures and then making cast of those and painting them. This is a huge community I really didn't even know existed, especially in the tabletop gaming world. So there's actually this company called Hobby Zone, which makes this modular organizational system. But when I saw it, I thought this would be a fun thing to figure out if I could model and make for the laser cutter. But you don't need a laser cutter to do it. You could actually use something like a scroll saw or even like a router or CNC, especially if you have one. I've actually got plans for all of these right down below if you want to check them out for yourself. All right, so let's actually talk about what these are. Uh, this is... <sighs> Um, this is three millimeter plywood. Uh, I got this off of Amazon. Again, links down below to everything that I got. But the process to make these is I first needed to figure out what the profiles for all of this was. So just like with most of my recent projects, I jumped into the 3D modeling program called Fusion 360. So the process in Fusion was pretty simple. So I'm not gonna go super in depth into it here. But the first step was really to figure out a layout of the entire thing. And since I wanted this to be modular, I knew the dimensions needed to pretty much stay the same across it. So this is built on a 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter frame. And then the units are different sizes within that. So once I made the shape in Fusion 360, then I went in to actually do the joints. These joints are really easy. These are kind of like finger joints, box joints. Usually they're just little tabs here, here, and here. And then everything is just glued together with CA glue. And that is pretty much the same process I used to do every single one of these guys. So you can see I did more if they're wider drawers. Uh, and this one actually did more like a box joint. Once I had all of the designs made in Fusion 360, the next step was to actually get the profile so I could send them to a laser cutter. Now, since we're gonna be cutting out so many pieces, I wanted to make sure I was using the best use of my material possible. So you can actually export sketches from Fusion 360. Then I brought those into Illustrator and saved those as an SVG, just because sometimes the units can be a little bit weird. So you need to make sure you're either in metric or in inches the entire way. So then I used a program called deepnest.io and it pretty much took all of the different shapes, flipped them around, spaced them so that they were gonna take the best use of the material. So I would have the least amount of waste, then it would line lines up. And so then I could send it to the laser cutter and cut everything out. The plans that I'm going to include below, I'm not gonna give you that version. I'm gonna space it out a little bit just so if you are cutting it out manually that you have a little bit of room for a kerf. So then I sent all of these to my 50 watt laser. You can check them out right up there. And I was pretty much able to knock them out with one pass, which was great. I also used a, another secret laser. It's right there. You'll find out more about that one later. It is pretty cool. Once I had all of these pieces laser cut, it was time to actually assemble this. So I was using medium CA glue to start out and I actually didn't have this tip when I first was starting. It was more like this. So that's why you see uh, just so much extra glue that I haven't sanded off or anything. So as we are assembling these, a quick shout out to all the awesome and wonderful supporters over on Patreon. You guys make these builds possible. And if you would like to support the channel, you can head over to makeabreakshop.com forward slash Patreon to check it all out. Thank you. 
So I slowly put all of these together. I duplicated a few of these so I could have multiples. So let's talk about all the different types of drawers that I made. Again, this is pretty much on a 10 centimeter system. So this right here is 10 centimeters. This is 30, this is 20. And that allows this to be pretty modular. Start off, we made this guy, which is just four drawers, real easy. As you can see, it's a pretty simple construction with that three millimeter plywood. Our wider drawer, and I didn't do the greatest job being clean with the super glue. And then also with the smaller drawers, I did make some that had a clear front, just so you can kind of see what is inside. We also made larger drawer pieces. Um, this is literally just a big old empty drawer. Um, I could make dividers and stuff to actually put inside of this, but this is working for now. So we've got these corner pieces, same type of drawers, but we've got a center drawer that can come right out, almost like a book. And then for our special pieces, we've got paint holder. Um, this is just for one size paint. And then last but not least, we've got our paint holder. We have two different size holes, so up here and down here, there's a ton of them. And then just a little spot for X-Acto Nice and whatnot. One thing I have not done with this guy, which they do do with Hobby Zone, is they actually have magnets in the sides. So you would just drop in some magnets on the sides of these, and so then you could just sync them all together and they would stay together as you're moving around. I haven't done that. Honestly, don't know if I'm going to do that. This is working fine for me. So this guy is pretty easy to put together, especially if you've got something like a laser, but again, you can use a scroll saw to do it. I want to get into doing miniatures and doing small scale painting. If you guys have any tips for that, let me know down in the comments. I would love to check those out. We didn't go super deep into the modeling inside of Fusion 360. If you're interested in that, I've got a tutorial up there if you want to check it out. So until next time, go make or break something in your shop. See you guys.